Welcome to Remember Names Instantly. I'm Patrick Dewar, and I'm excited to be able to share this information with you. Uh, I know that a lot of us have had problems uh, remember names. A lot of people have a real hard time being at a, a, a social event or a networking event or in a sales situation where you might have several people that you're meeting at once. Remembering everybody's name or anyone else, anyone's name for that matter. I've seen people and, and I know I've done it before too where I shook somebody's hand and, and as soon as the hand separated so did the name fall out of my head. And so I've I found some tools that I I internalized and I've been able to use very effectively in my career to change a lot of things. I, I teach professional development classes around the country on things like leadership, communication skills, uh, handling change, uh, difficult situations with people and, uh, and at work. And so every day I have between 30 and, and sometimes as many as 80 or 90 people in front of me and they're all professionals, and, and by 9.15 in the morning, I'll have everybody's name memorized. And a lot of times, that really shocks people. And when I show you the process, it's not really hard. And in fact, at, at the end of the, this, I'll, I'll invite you to, if you'd like to get a copy of what I'm talking about, uh, I'll email it to you, no problem. Just remember, write my email down and I'll send you the material that I've, I've referenced. And if you wanna take a deeper dive, I'll show you a resource that I created to help with that. But uh, the thing is, is that this training is gonna be very effective if you begin to implement uh, the tools and the tips and the techniques that I'm talking about. Uh, now, I was, I did not always have a really good memory. Uh, in fact, uh, I had a really bad one. Um, when I was in college, my first day in college, the academic advisor looked at my test scores, looked up at me and said, Mr. Dewar, do you realize that 99% of all the rest of the freshmen enrolled are placed above you? Our statistics show the people of your academic stature won't last six weeks at this university. Are you sure you wouldn't rather go to a junior college and make sure that college is your cup of tea? And all I could think is, wow, I've never been called an idiot so proficiently in all my life. I'll send you an invitation to my graduation because I'll never quit. Well, in the first two years, I studied 17 hours a day, seven days a week to prove them wrong. And at the end of my sophomore year, I had achieved an overall grade point average of 1.99. Yeah. Not good. My dean said, welcome to second semester scholastic probation. Pat, if you don't pull it out next semester, you are going home. And so that summer I worked in the oil field to pay for school and I had some time in the evening and I figured somebody throughout history has, has been where I'm at, needing to learn how to remember more and process information faster. And so I went looking for some tools and I found some and I integrated them and and went back to school the next semester, I went from a 1.99 to a 3.25 in one semester and never had to worry about my grades again. A couple of years later, got out with my BS degree. It's not all BS, but the point is, is that I got out with my degree and, and, and when I got out, I never wanted to be called an idiot ever again. So I began to study everything that had to do with memory, reading, studying, learning faster better now. That, that was my uh, major hobby, I'll have to say. And I went through pretty much everybody's material and, and found some really good tools. And, uh, and then uh, back about 10, 12 years ago, uh, I went out, I created a little tool for people. And, and this is just an ancillary thing for that. Um, it, it's something that I cover in that material, but in uh, what I wanted to do is give you a tool right from the get go. So with that in mind, there's a couple of key things to remember in names and let me share this with you. So the first is find something unique about the person's face. When you're going to meet somebody, look at their face. Do they have a big nose? Do they have pretty eyes? Do they have uh, cheekbones that are real distinct, ears that are real distinct, either large or small, whatever, something about their face, just kind of notice that. And then what you're going to do, and I'm going to go over these real quick, and then I'm going to show these one at a time. You, you focus on their face, 
you listen to their name when you shake their hands. You might repeat that, that name back to them to make sure you got it right. And then you're gonna use animated pictures for each name and create some action attaching that image to their face. You'll use the same picture every time and then review the name uh, a few times afterwards. And then if you wanna remember it more, I'll show you uh, that too. So first, listen and repeat. Listen their name when you shake their hands and you might say, so you said Mary? Is that correct? And they'll say, yes, that's Mary. Okay, thanks Mary, I just wanna make sure I got it correct. No one minds if you use their name to make sure that you got it right. And besides that, one of the most wonderful quotes ever was, uh, the most wonderful sound in anyone's language is their name on your lips. So with that in mind, the next step is use uh, pictures for the names. Use an animated picture of their name and create an action attaching that picture to their face. So um, as I, I want to show you, you, you want to use the same picture for every name. Uh, so if you're using a, you know, if you're talking to Mary, then you're going to think of a merry-go-round. And you're going to attach that merry-go-round to some either distinct feature on their face or something unique about them, something that has to do with their face. Because our mind responds to images, not words. See, we don't have an image for Mary until now. Now you've got an image for Mary. And it's a merry-go-round. But many people don't have an image for Bob or Tom or Sue or, or Tom or uh, Alan or whatever. They may, you might not have images for all of them. And you can create your own. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples here of uh, Mary. Uh, next one might be Andrew, would be an ant that drew. And you're attaching that ant to Andrew's face. So you, you want to use animation, you want to use exaggeration, you want to make things big and funny or, or in some way action-packed. So you might see, an, imagine an ant drawing uh, glasses and a, and a mustache and a, and a beard on Andrew's face. So you want it to create some sort of imagery. Another would be Michelle. Uh, Michelle is always a missile, and I, and I usually, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm a normal guy. I, I'll see the missile just like landing right on her head, and, and it explodes, and it's kind of graphic, but the point is, is that it, I wouldn't forget that that's Michelle. Same thing with David. You'd use a, I use a divot from golf, um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the divot right out of David's forehead to remember David at, at, at in the room. And then another example, I'll give you a couple of these, several of these today. Um, so uh, Martha would be Martha's Vineyard. Uh, slide kind of got a little wonky there, but Martha's Vineyard. And then um, Dennis is dentist. So again, you're going to use a dentist on top of Dennis's face. Another imagery I might use, you know, you might use for Dennis might be Dennis the Menace if that works better for you. Uh, but the idea here is that once you once you attach it, you want to rinse and repeat. You want to review the name and the image on that person and the action a few times, and then start using their name when you speak to them, when you address them, use their name. They never mind that. Most people actually are quite enamored with that, and it helps to build rapport and build a lot of uh, energy in the, your relationship with that person. And then the last thing is, is that if you really want to keep this person long-term in your mind, then long-term memory comes from review. So at the end of the first meeting, um, you know, first day you, you meet them, uh, three days later, seven days later, and then at least once a week for a month. And then you'll probably have their name locked in uh, forever after that. You see them in the street, see them at another networking meeting, see them at another event, no worries. You'll still remember their name because it's been locked in. 
Now I've kind of gone through this pretty fast and, and I just want to make sure that we maximize our time, that I'm, that I'm efficient for you. And so uh, the, the last thing I want to say is if you, if you like this and you want to expand your memory and accelerate your reading rate, you could go to your uspeedread.com you go to uspeedread.com and pick up my accelerated learning program where I'll show you how to double your reading rate, 37 minutes, learn to remember anything you want at will, lists, presentations, names, and study more efficiently and effectively in everything you do, and even what supplements will enhance your memory. And I encourage you, if you want to get more, it's a, it's a $97 program, no big deal. If you want to get that, uh, that is very fast. It's, very, it's two hours, and it'll teach you the material you want. And then there's some other things that I throw in there, too. But the, the thing is here, I will say, if you enjoyed this presentation and you like the slide deck, I have two complete slide decks that uh, I'll just send you. I'll email them to you. One for men's names, the other for women's names. And they're, they are 52 guys' names and 52 gals' names uh, with the images that you I'll send you in, in a, uh, they're just a PowerPoint, two PowerPoint files that you can use at will to remember names. And if you do review those a few times, the images will begin to lock in and then just start using it. And if you, if you do, I mean, I'd love to hear back from you. Email me after, you know, you've used it for uh, a month or something and, and, and just say, Hey Pat, that really worked. I really appreciate that. Uh, with that, that's really all I, I wanted to cover tonight is just show you real quickly how to remember names, some keys for doing that, give you a special bonus just for, for uh, watching this. And if you want to get those slide decks, email me at Patrick Dewar, Patrick at DewarSuccess.com. Spelled D-O-E-R, success is what you spell, pronounce my last name. But I would also say, if you want to learn how to read faster, if you're an average reader of 200-ish words a minute, and you want to get a lot more done in a lot less time, I, I taught myself how to read over 1,000 words a minute using the tools that I teach on there. But I know that I can double your reading rate in the first 37 minutes. Uh, it's a it's ninety seven dollar program. Like I said, get it over at uspeedread.com. Uh, with that, thank you so very much. It's been a pleasure serving you tonight, and I hope to hear from you soon.